Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and install GZ Doom UWP for Xbox Dev Mode. You can find this on Arizarn's GitHub. I will have the link down below, or if you're in the Revive Me community Discord, you can find it there as well. GZ Doom Engine UWP port with a very clunky menu to select available games. After raise, this was a breed. On start, it will ask for a folder to use as a data folder. If none is found, it will use app data local state folder. Special thanks to Roxo for the extensive testing and modding along with the whole emulation hub gang and test gang. And also, if you do love the work RSRN has been doing, definitely make sure you make a GitHub. At the top, click on the GZ Doom UWP and don't forget to give it a star. I bet. So now all you got to do is click on the Z Doom 1.0.5.0 MSIX bundle, click on it, and it'll start downloading the file. I bet. Once we have our file, before we even go to the installation process, what we're going to do is simply create a new folder. We're going to name it GZ Doom. You could also name it whatever you want. The reason we are creating this folder here, this is the folder we are going to use for our USB setup. This is where all our saves are going to go. And this is also where our games are going to be placed. So for GZ Doom, your games will need to be in WAD format. And all you would do is simply drag and drop them into the GZ Doom folder. Alright, so now all we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get into the dev portal so you could install your app. So now all you got to do is make sure your Xbox is on. Go into dev mode. And we're going to continue from there. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox Dev Portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave our Xbox on this page. I bet, so what we're gonna do is switch over to the PC. We're gonna enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're gonna change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right, now that we're on the computer, what we're gonna do is enter in one of those links. Yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. And then once we're at the dev portal, all you got to do is under my games and apps, click on add. And then all we're going to do is simply drag and drop that Z Doom MSIX bundle. Click on next. There's no dependencies for this, so all you gotta do is click on start. And then once that's finished, click done. And then all we gotta do is go into dev mode and finish setting up the app. So if you didn't already, make sure that GZ Doom that we created earlier is drag and drop onto your external drive. Eject your external drive and plug it into the Xbox. And then we're gonna continue from there. All right, now that we're at the Xbox, what you wanna do is look for the GZ Doom, press select on it. Go to view details, make sure to change it from an app to a game unless you have those settings by default. Make sure your external drive is plugged in and then all we're going to do is simply open up the app. You would be greeted with a screen like this. All we got to do is look for that GZ Doom folder that we created for our external drive. Select it, then press select at the bottom. And then once you do that, if you only have one game in your folder, it should load automatically. But if you have multiple games, you will be greeted with a list like this. And then the way you would scroll through it is you would press B and then it would show the next game at the top. And then now what you could do is simply select which game you want and enjoy. And that's pretty much about it. Now that you have set up that folder to the app, it should now create a save folder. So anytime your game saves, it will go to that. And also you should have a portable.ini file in there if you wanted to ever change additional settings. And if this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to follow for more videos.